Hi, I'm Dan, and welcome to the Airbrush Garage. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today, I'm going to be showing you Createx's opaque line of paints. It is Createx's fastest coveraging paint to date. It has an acrylic resin already in it, so there's no need to use the 4050 additive to make it an acrylic resin, which is really cool. So I'm going to show you how these paints cover and you know what they can do. So if you're interested in that type of content, please stick around. Give me a thumbs up. Couple comments, good or bad, really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Check out all my affiliate links down below for all the products I use in this video and all my other videos. So with that, let's get started. All right, as I said, these are designed for coverage. It has an acrylic urethane system already in it. So again, the need for the 4050 to make it an acrylic resin is not needed. So being it's already put in there, just like the, what the 4050 does to the regular Wicked colors, it makes them extremely durable. Now. I think Wicked Colors are already durable, but these make them extremely durable. Mar resistant, scratch resistant, so it makes a very durable paint. If I was to take some you know, tape and put it on here and rip it right off, you know, I've seen other examples uh, you know, on YouTube about it, it, it doesn't budge. So it's great paint. So these can be put over any substrate, and as I said, even over those you know, difficult plastics. Two to three coats is recommended for full saturation. And the only thing that isn't different about this set is the jet black and the opaque white. They're from the original line of Wicket colors. So as you can see, I did some spray out cards and on this side is the regular Wicket, which is semi-transparent or transparent for the most part. And you can see the same amount of coats and the coverage that you get with that versus the coverage you get with the opaque. So I've done that on each one of these cards as you can see. And you definitely can tell which one is the opaque. I also did a card here with the sealers, with a black sealer and a white sealer, and checked the coverage. Now, I've used these sealers before, but I've only ever used the sealers really in like, you know, my point eight Pache, a gun you might've seen in some of my videos, or a point one detail gun, and two coats, and I'm fully covered. It doesn't matter what color I'm going over, it's fully covered. So coming out of a point three five airbrush, you know, it got really good saturation, got really good coverage, but it does cover better through a bigger tip needle. I will say that, you know, before some of you guys say, well, it's not fully covered. If I went over a few more coats, I mean, that's three coats, you know, light coats with an airbrush. If I went over it with a bigger gun, two coats, you can check out some of my videos. I think uh, the lacing video or how to prep a, a gas tank, those type of videos, it shows you two coats with that stuff and it doesn't matter what color you're going over, you're covered. So. Basically what I'm trying to get at is these opaques basically had the same coverage as what those sealers did. Now I still like the sealers uh, if I'm going to be using, you know, as a base just so I get uniform coverage. I probably would still use the sealers for that particular application. But what I really like about this application is that, as you can see right on black here, this is straight out of the bottle. Now I will say straight out of the bottle, but I did reduce it 10% with the 4011. You can go straight out of the bottle, but I just like to reduce it just a little bit, especially coming out of a you know 0 0.3, 0 0.35 needle uh, size. That that's what I was using. So, but what you can see here is you know the coverage that you get on black straight out. Like I said, if I was to take yellow right here, so I sprayed yellow over here on the black. This is the wicked color. You can't see it. You're never going to build that up to where you can get to that. Okay, and that's what I'm saying. Before, with the Wicked colors, I would have to spray white, do all my detail, and then come back over it with the color in order to get something to show up on black like this. Whereas with the opaques, as you can see, you can go right on the black and you get coverage and really good coverage. So the other example is, what's really cool is, again, like with spray paint, because they're very opaque, one color can go over the other. It doesn't matter what color it is. So I took red, obviously, here, right? And I put yellow, the lightest color, over something like red. And guess what? As you can see here, fully saturated, full coverage, right over to red. That's what makes these paints special. So I think these are really cool paints. I think you're going to love them. I highly recommend them. So I hope you got something from this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell so you get future notifications. Thumbs up would be great. So with that, we'll see you in the next video.